Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Bachman, and I'm here today to work on Western Settlers with you. You have been assigned the 49ers. You're going to notice that I have up on my screen the reading for the 49ers, which is chapter 16.8, as well as our Western Settlers notes gathering page. So like I said, you have been assigned the 49ers, and so you are going to be putting your information down here. And you are looking for the reason for settling. So why did they go west? What were some of the hardships that they faced? The legacy. So why are we still talking about them? What did they leave behind? And then finally, an interesting fact, anything that you want to write about that you haven't already put in one of these three columns. So let's start by reading about the 49ers. In 1848, a carpenter named James Marshall was building a sawmill on the American River in Northern California. Suddenly, he spotted something shining in the water. I reached my hand down and picked it up, he wrote later. It made my heart thump, for I felt certain it was gold. When word of Marshall's discovery leaked out, people across California dropped everything to race to the gold fields. All were off to the mines, wrote a minister, some on horses, some on carts, and some on crutches. All right, and so we know that the first thing, why they settled, we know that they, um, they came for gold. All right, so they were there to race to the gold fields. The world rushes in. By 1849, tens of thousands of gold seekers from around the world had joined the California gold rush. About two-thirds of these 49ers were Americans. So again, reason for settling, all right, they were settling for the gold rush. All right, the gold rush. They were called 49ers because they, <laughs> I keep making, um, little spots of green all over the place, unintentionally. Um, so anyways, they were called 49ers because they came to California in 1849, which was the year that the gold rush started. So about two-thirds of these 49ers were Americans. The motive of fortune also brought settlers from Mexico, South America, Europe, Australia, and even China. The, first, the 49ers' first challenge was simply getting to California. From China and Australia, they had to brave the rough crossing of the Pacific Ocean. From the east, many traveled by ship to Panama and Central America, crossed through dangerous jungles to the Pacific, to the Pacific side, and boarded ships north to San Francisco. Others made the difficult journey over land. And so challenges, hardships faced, right? Um, their first challenge was just getting to California. We know that... Um, they had to brave rough crossings of the Pacific Ocean, right? They had to go through dangerous jungles. Um, it was a really difficult job just to get to California from pretty much anywhere in the world, unless you already lived on the West Coast. Most 49ers were young and almost all were men. When Luzania Wilson arrived in Sacramento with her family, a miner offered her $5 for her biscuits just to have bread made by a woman. When she hesitated, he doubled the offer. Women were scarce in those days, she wrote. I lived six months in Sacramento and saw only two. So there were only two women in all of Sacramento um, while she was there for six months. Life in the Mining Camps Wherever gold was spotted, mining camps with names like Mad Mule Gulch and You Bet popped up all overnight. At Coyote Diggings, Luzana found a row of canvas tents. A few months later, there were 2,000 men, and the streets were lined with drinking saloons and gambling tables. Merchants made fortunes selling eggs for $6 a dozen um, and flour for $400 a barrel. That's even more than we spend on those things today, and this was over you know, 150 years ago, so that is a ton of money for those days. With no police to keep order, the camps were rough places. Miners frequently fought over the boundaries of their claims, and they took it on themselves to punish crimes. In the short space of 24 hours, wrote Lewis Clapp, we have had murders, fearful accidents, bloody deaths, a mob, whippings, a hanging, an attempt at suicide, and a fatal duel. Digging for gold was hard and tedious work. The miners spent log days digging up mud, dirt, and stones while standing knee-deep in icy streams. All too soon, the easy-to-find gold was gone. The day for quick fortune making is over, wrote a miner in 1851. There are thousands of men now in California who would gladly go home if they had the money. All right, and so some of the other hardships that they faced um, were the ridiculous prices. All right, and so we've got um, the prices are a huge um hardship. The camps were just, you know, extremely rough places. They fought. 
There were murders, there were duels, there were all kinds of horrible things that were happening. And digging for gold was just extremely difficult. It was hard, it was tedious, it was um, backbreaking. And pretty soon they didn't have, uh, you know, the easy gold to find anymore. So it, it really wasn't worth their time. But that, they were stuck there because they had no money. And so you should be listing all of these things in hardships faced right here. Now the last thing we're looking for is the legacy. The 49ers Legacy by 1852, the gold rush was over. While it lasted, about 250,000 people flooded into California. For California's Indians, the legacy of this invasion was dreadful. Between 1848 and 1870, warfare and disease reduced their numbers from about 150,000 to just 30,000. In addition, many Californios, or Mexican Californians, lost their land to the newcomers. The 49ers also left a prosperous legacy. By 1850, California had enough people to become the first state in the far west. These new Californians helped us transform the Golden State into a diverse land of economic opportunity. And so the legacy, some of it is good and some of it is bad. Um, and so the first part of it was bad. We have the number of American Indians um, goes from 150,000 to 30,000. Right? Californios, Mexicans, whoops. Californios lost their land to the newcomers, but they also had a, um, had a positive legacy. They had um, enough people to be the very first state in the far west, all right, and they helped to transform California into a diverse land of economic opportunity. And so summarize that and put that in legacy, and the last thing you need to do on your own is to find your interesting fact. Now, good luck, guys. Um, these notes are what you're going to be using to create your slideshow. Good luck, and let me know if you need any help.